published 1730 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 2nd of May 2018, updated 2051 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 2nd of May 2018, Arsenal's official picture of defender Rob Holding signing a new four-year contract this week sums up the difficulties of announcing a month in advance the manager Arsene Wenger would be leaving at the end of the season. The holding snapshot was highly unusual in that there was no one else in the picture when almost every other signing moment coming out of Arsenal or any other major club has the manager or a senior official alongside the player. Arsenal say there was no one else around when holding signed, although they admit there was also some sensitivity about including the manager in the picture when he's leaving in a few weeks. Rob Holding was all alone in his snapshot as he signed his new Arsenal deal on Tuesday and an Emirates insider revealed that Wenger would have received a battering on social media if he had been pictured. However it still seems very strange that Chief Executive Ivan Gazidis, or another member of the management team, couldn't provide moral support for Holding. Mark Lawrenson was in the Liverpool team who won the European Cup at the Stadio Olimpico in Rome in 1984, yet the BBC Radio 5 live football pundit was refused entry on Wednesday night before Liverpool's semi-final second leg because he didn't have any ID. Lauro was eventually allowed in, but it took some time. Only the MCC management and membership could spend three hours at their annual general meeting on Wednesday discussing numerous mundane issues, but devote less than two minutes to property developer Charles Rifkin's offer for members and cricket fans to buy into ownership of the tunnels under the nursery and that has attracted global interest. The meeting was even being held above those very tunnels. MCC chief executive Guy Lavender said the Rifkin initiative didn't impact on MCC plans. Sunderland's horror season, which will end with relegation to League One and manager Chris Coleman's sacking, is going to get global exposure in August when Netflix broadcast the Fly on the Wall series on the troubled club. The production company involved were Fullwell 73, responsible for the Class of 92 documentary. The Sunderland access didn't include dressing room talks by the manager, which are part of the upcoming Manchester City docu-series with Amazon, who paid over £10 million for their access. Sunderland's horror season is going to get global exposure in August through Netflix meeting like then her a number of football league chairmen are fed up with the annual inconvenience of having to travel to Villamura in Portugal for the summer conference spread over three bloated days. They claimed that fewer club bosses bother to make the trip, sending junior operatives instead, and the event has become a junket for staff who always make the most of the freebie food and drink. One chairman said, It's astonishing how many football league staff feel it necessary to travel to Portugal, it's like the cast of Ben-Hur, an FL spokesman said, It is important that as many owners, chairman and senior executives are in attendance as is practically possible. We seek feedback at each conference and 85% of clubs agreed the venue should remain the same. Sean Harvery and co meet up annually for a summer conference in Villa Moranigal Gillingham. Former Leicester Tigers Lock, who represents Gloucestershire on the RFU Council, caused some upset at an RFU road shirts hour bridge. Gillingham is part of an RFU team touring the country explaining a new system of allocating international tickets to clubs which will require them to input the teams and details of every match played from under 14 to senior level, asked. Why the proposal does not include mini rugby, Gillingham said if kids played through mini and junior rugby, but then gave up the game before youth level, all clubs were doing was providing a child-minding service for 10 years. An RFU spokeswoman said, Nigel apologized straight away for his comment.